and I'm about to go to camp. These are definitely my favorite snacks. If you haven't had these yet, you guys, you should fly Southwest just so you can eat them. I'm at the hotel in my room. Let me show you what it looks like. Here's all the stuff I'm bringing. But I also wanted to give you guys an update on Alice. Welcome to Jay's vlog. My name is Jill and I am getting ready to go to work. I am a flight attendant for Southwest Airlines and I have a very unique situation in that um, yesterday, two days ago, maybe two days ago, I picked up a trip that start, I'm, I'm home based in Baltimore. I live in Florida. I'm a new flight attendant, so I'm on reserve, which means I'm on call, which sometimes they use me and sometimes they don't and I really just want to fly. So um, I haven't been used for the past two weeks. So I decided um, yeah, a couple days ago that I was going to pick up a trip, like add a trip on my days off. And I've been hesitant to do that, number one, because I don't want to be away from my son and my husband longer than necessary um, or longer than I need to be. And the other reason is I was just nervous. I don't know about like working. Like if I, if I, anyway, I was just nervous. <laughs> So anyway, my friend encouraged me to do it because guess what? I found a trip where it starts at my base in Baltimore, comes to where I live in Florida, overnights there, and then the next day starts and goes on two more days. So I was able to get a three-day trip with one of the nights here at home. So I flew home last night. Um, I flew up to Baltimore and then flew back to Florida and spent the night here last night and was here like two hours after Ryan got home from school. So it was kind of like a normal day. And we did a ton of stuff last night, ate dinner, worked on college applications, that kind of thing. Went to bed and now I'm getting up. I'm going to wake him up because it is almost six o'clock. Time for him to wake up to go to school and I'm going to get in the car and go to the airport and meet my crew there and fly out of the airport. Today we go to St. Louis, um, Nashville, and we end up in Norfolk, Virginia, spend the night there. And then tomorrow I go to, from Norfolk to Baltimore, to Syracuse, Syracuse and back to Baltimore. Mike is in uh, Maryland right now because he is working. And um, so we're gonna do one of these things. I'll see him for one night and then he comes back and we'll be here on Saturday to hang out with Ryan for the weekend. So that's what I got going on. So come with me while I travel. I'm not sure exactly how much I'll be able to film, but if you guys have been watching before, I try to get in as much as I can. I'm gonna go wake up Ryan and maybe you'll see him today. This is the good news too, guess what? Today's Thursday, Brendan Michael comes home tomorrow for Thanksgiving, woo woo. I'm not sure when Katie's coming home yet. They're not coming home together because Brendan is coming home with a friend of his and Katie might be driving her car. I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work out. And I've been traveling, so I haven't been able to chit chat with them, but hopefully today we land at like two, I think in Norfolk. So I'll be able to, oh three. So I'll be able to chit chat with them today. All right, guys. So you might not see me again until I get to Norfolk. I'm not exactly sure because when we work, it is fast, 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 fast. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm the first on the plane this morning. I am flying A, which is the A flight attendant. I'm the one that's gonna be standing up in the front and making all the announcements and um, pretty excited about it. That is a little bit nerving, but, um, but exciting. So anyway, I'm the first one on the plane. I'm gonna do my pre-flight checks and then my other flight attendants will probably get here in just a few minutes and then we're gonna take off, we'll board the plane and take off for St. Louis. All right, I finished my pre-flight checks. Now I'm getting the snacks ready. So they're ready when um, it's time to serve. These are definitely my favorite snacks. If you haven't had these yet, you guys, you should fly Southwest just so you can eat them. They are Remy's Grams, they're graham crackers. Oh. All right, you guys, it's hard to see. It's a little bit blurry, but we can see a cargo ship right there. We're getting ready to land in Norfolk. And then it's very pretty what I'm looking at, but again, I'm sorry that it's blurry. We arrived in Norfolk, we landed here, and it's a beautiful city. The hotel that we're staying at is on the water, it's so pretty, but by the time we got here, and then I came back to my room and changed and everything, and went down and had the best dinner with the crew, you guys. Oh my gosh, we have the best crew. There are three, well, there were a total of four flight attendants today, but the one flight attendant, when when we got off, she went on to someplace else. So the three of us, three flight attendants and the two captains had dinner and laughed and told stories and very fun, talked about our families. It was really, really great. So fun to meet people. And like the one pilot said, it's so crazy because you work with people for one, two, maybe three days, you become fast friends. And then 
you never see them again. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'll ever work with these people ever again, which is such a shame. I love this crew. So anyway, we cheers and toasted and said that we're going to try to get trips together, which would be fun because they're a great, great group. Anywho, um, so now we're at, I'm at the hotel in my room. Let me show you what it looks like. This is my bathroom. This is my uniform for tomorrow. And we have a little refrigerator and a microwave and a coffee maker, TV. I have a little balcony out there. I can show you the view in just a second. Very cool. There's my computer getting ready to edit for you guys. I'll have a video up tomorrow. And there's my work iPad. So I'm looking forward to jumping in this bed right now because my call time tomorrow is it's called lobby time is 5.05 a.m. So that's what time the actual van leaves. So we have to be in the lobby before 5.05 a.m. And it is eight o'clock, a little after eight o'clock now. So I'm gonna try to edit, wrap up, go to bed, and um, be up tomorrow. I think I'm gonna have to wake up at probably 3.45. <laughs> and then I have two flights to, wait, one, nope, three flights tomorrow. Because I fly from here, which is Norfolk, to Baltimore and then to Syracuse and then back to Baltimore. And I'm gonna say good night to you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, four o'clock, November 17th, 2023 and I'm about to go to camp. So uh, obviously this is a camp through Young Life. If you guys know me, I know you know I'm very involved through Young Life. And this is a weekend camp. So there's longer week camps in the summer that I've done, but this is weekend camp. It comes around every fall and I'm just so excited. So I have some stuff here. We are packed. This is the carry on back to the bus. It's only a weekend, so you don't need that many things, but this is so packed because there's like sheets in here and stuff and a water bottle and some snacks for the bus ride. Um, and then I have a pillow and my charger's blanket for the bus ride and to sleep with. Um, the chargers play on Sunday, by the way. So we're going up, today's Friday. And then we're going to spend Saturday and we go back Sunday afternoon. And we have a one o'clock game versus the Packers in Lambeau. So I'm kind of stressing and um, I don't know, but I'm bringing like all my Chargers stuff because I need to be fitted for that. Anyway, this is the suitcase. I know it's kind of weird to bring a whole suitcase for just a weekend, but I wanted to. It's always good to overpack for these things. Um, and it's, it's not that big of a hassle. And... If it is, that's on me. So I'll just have to deal with that. So here we are. Here's all the stuff I'm bringing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get picked up and we're gonna go eat some chicken at this chicken restaurant nearby and then uh, go to the bus, see all my friends, get on the bus and go to camp. So we'll see y'all when we do that. Hey guys, good afternoon. I don't know if you've heard from Ryan yet, but I just finished a three day trip um, flying and I'm headed back to my house in Maryland. And I just talked to Ryan, he's on his way to camp. I'm so excited for him. He absolutely loves this camp, it's Young Life Camp. I think this is gonna be now the th one, two, three, this is the fourth one he's been to and it's just a weekend camp it's just like a weekend november thing but he's very excited about it and he's home alone because mike is actually flying back to florida right now to see him well to to be in florida but he's just gonna miss ryan by like literally 30 minutes um but anyway and i'm gonna miss him too but he'll be back from camp before i go back from work because i just finished a three-day trip and i picked picked it up which means it wasn't assigned to me i just like picked it up and added it to my time off. Um, but I am going to tomorrow start my scheduled reserve, which is on call. So I'm on call for three days. Whew, I'm kind of tired from my trip. And so putting these all together is a little bit tiring, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. But um, hopefully you'll hear from Ryan and I will keep you guys um, up to date on what happens and hopefully where I go if I go someplace fun. While I'm thinking of it, I also wanted to give you guys an update on Alice. Everybody keeps asking and I keep forgetting to vlog it because um, when I'm looking for Alice and doing my things, I don't think about, first of all, it's on the computer for the most part and I don't think about filming it. But um, I wanted to let you guys know if you don't know that Alice is missing. Um, she's been missing since October 21st. I came home from a, uh, a trip, a flight trip and um, on a Sunday and she, the they hadn't seen her since the day before. 
usually she like goes out, sleeps in the garden, runs around the garden and comes back in. Um, but this time she did not. So we've done all we can in terms of alerted all the local social media, all the um, like the lost pet pages, you know, the animal shelters, all of that stuff, our neighbors, everything. And um, I am still holding out hope. I've, I've read many stories on these lost pet pages where pets are lost for a month, two months, and then they come back. And I'm praying that that's what Alice's situation is going to be. Hopefully not two months. Hopefully she'll come back um, sooner than that. But thank you guys so much for asking and being concerned about Alice as we are. And um, hi. And um, I will keep you guys updated um, if we find her. I'm not sure I'm going to give an update every time if there's no news. But um, if she comes back, I will certainly let you know. So, thanks. Let him finish. What up, guys? So, it's a little different change of plans from the bus. We're actually now in a van with Tommy. Yeah. It's, it's Trevor, Venus, Bryce, Evan, Waz, and B9. We all stuffed in the van. Uh, because we wanted to, and it's way better than the 50 person bus. Way better. Oh, yeah. Anyway, way better. Uh, we've just been playing music, jamming, eating. I spilled my water everywhere, but we'll, we'll recover. And we're about 10 minutes out from camp right now, and our phones are all gonna get taken. So, this is the last you'll see of me for like a few days. So, peace out. Yeah, we love you. Bye, Donnelly. See ya.